Hey guys, um, it's middle or about two thirds of the way through July and I had my brother-in-law's over yesterday and we were talking a little bit about elk hunting and meals and uh, how we intended to do things this year and that progressed into packs and I have a million different backpacks and a different setup for this or that scenario but we're going to try to pack in decent this year as far as day to day we're, we're going to bring our wives and kids up so that's kind of limit some of the time that we have in the field so we wanted to make it as much as we can each day and always go back to the cabin um, for the evening so gonna have to pack light and definitely gonna have to make the most of it as far as weight time and you know capacity so we're talking a little bit and the conversations of guns came up. What am I going to take this year? What are we going to do? How are we going to do it? Where are we going to go? A good map's always a great little tool and necessity. Um, good topo map. And uh, so, yeah, so I was running over some stuff with them. We plan early for this stuff because we don't know what's going to happen or when as far as my job or the old field or their industry. So, we're always flying by the seat of our pants. Anyway, today I wanted to go over a little bit about how or what I intend to do this year and, and some of the things that I carry with me pretty regular out into the field. And sometimes I strip my pack down, sometimes I bulk it up, but for the most part, it was just conversation we had, so I wanted to bring y'all into it. Um, this is my favorite elk hunting rifle. Um, shot a handful of deer with it and a couple other animals but it's a Kemper 8400 300 wind mag uh, Cerakoted in FDE and green and brown stripes through it um, same with the optic it's a Zeiss Conquest it's a little bit older I think it's a four and a half to twelve or fourteen power yeah four and a half to fourteen power I love the dog out of this setup um, Anything from, you know, 50 yards out to 500, it's a quick just little rise up. I don't have to mess with any dials. I mean, I've got this zero that I, I've got my <clears throat> elevation chart on the side here and goes from, of course, zero 25 yards out to 600. I zero at 200 yards, 400 I'm at negative 4.4, so four and a half inches low. If I'm 500, I'm seven, seven inches low, and then 600 yards, I'm 10 inches low. So I can do a quick judge of elevation or uh, distance and then just correct my elevation by a few inches and I'm set. Um, it is a sub gun. It's a pencil barrel, so I'm saving on weight. But the thing is with that is you better practice because after your second, third shot, it, it will start to open up a fair bit. But anyway, Kimber 8400 and 300 wind mag. I've got the ultra mags, but this gun, I know what it can do and I'm very, very happy and pleased with it. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the pack. Now, depending on the pack and depending on what I'm gonna do, that's what I judge it off of. I'm not a huge Camelback bladder guy, but I love their packs. Um, I will keep about half the water in the bladder and then an extra water bottle just in case, in case I gotta use a, a system to get water out of the creek or whatnot, or just have a measuring unit on there. I can measure out quarter cup, half cup, and hold on a little water bottle, and it's just easier, especially if I'm cooking. Anyway, this is one of my smaller packs. Um, I got it sort of loaded out already um, from previous hunts. Um, it's a Camelback Hog, H-A-W-G. Um, I like the multi-cam because it is truly versatile. I hate the way that it looks outside of it, but whenever you get into the mountains or you get into other terrains, it's actually, I think, a pretty decent pattern and system. You can find these things on eBay, slightly used. I mean, like new condition for 50 to 80 bucks and 10 bucks for shipping, so it's not a bad deal. 
Um, knife on the outside is a bench made. I really like those. It's like the Nymphoris or whatever you call that thing. I'm a big bench made guy. Some people hate them. I don't care. Um, outside we also have a tripod. It depends. I'll usually just uh, take this and if I'm we're sitting there glassing or anything else, if it's not a necessity, it's by slick tripods. If it's not a necessity, I'll just leave that in the truck. But if it's on my pack, I've got it that way. Um, inside of the pack, I mean, it's, it's that simple, especially if I'm gonna get set up to where if we're sitting here glass and we're walking up, you can extend the legs on here and have a walking post. But within a matter of a few seconds, you can already be set up and ready to go. As far as, um, this is not a bed roll. It's actually a shooting mat. I really like this. Set up this by tack. I don't want to miss cross tack. They're made in the USA. It's a great product. It rolls up literally nice and neat. It is padded. It comes with the standard multi cam and then the arid multi cam. So, anything that you're setting up or you just need to go out for, whether it's other than a little bit of snow, the multi cam still bleeds in with that so it can be hot, dry, and arid, fairly wet and moist outside as far as having a really late, mild winter. That covers it. Um, starting on the contents of the pack, I took this out, but as far as tarps, this is a 12 foot by nine and a half foot tarp by Chinook. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna read right because I got my video set up so where I can still see if I'm in frame or not. but. Chinook tarps, all purpose, they're great, very, very simple, and I like the bag because there's extra room in this bag. So you don't have to take the time to really cram it in there and pack it up right, you just fold it up, fold it up, fold it up, fold it up, roll it, shove it in here, and you're set. Now, flashlight, and this is by the S1, Batten, and I'm trying to see, anyway. It runs on CR123s. If you're like me, you got those things just everywhere and laying all out. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, the first small compartment, I guess the second compartment, I'm gonna have a couple of knives, 10 rounds of ammo, um, fire starting kit, a high vis, a fi high vis, uh, huh, can't remember what that's called, handkerchief, um, tin of fire. Most of this stuff's going to be taken out, but if I'm going to go out for three days and I'm going to have about four or five meals in here, um, have my spoon. Have a little rifle cleaning kit and a couple other brushes and uh, some 550 cord. And I do like these because there's a little blade on the inside there that you can cut cord with. You don't have to worry about using your knife. Um, these are water filters. I got these through Battle Box. They've worked great so far. I've only used them two or three times. And I didn't have to. I was just playing with them. Anyway, so you just take it out. It's a little pack, and it's like a large oversized Capri Sun pack. There's five of these to a pack. Toss that in a muddy puddle of water. Come back a few hours later, and it's full. It's packed with electrolytes, some other minerals, but it's, uh, it's flavored. It's not bad. It's pretty good. So if I'm going out for two or three days, I'll put that in the pack. If not, whenever I get there, I'm just going to toss it in. The, the cabin's front area or I'll just leave it in the truck. The other thing that I do carry with me if we're going out miles and days is a little surgical kit. It's got some syringes or um, 
suture kits and sets, a bunch of different gloves. Um, yeah, I mean, other than steering strips, which I really like and are easy and nice, if you get somewhere and you fall in, we always, we usually hunt in pairs. If you're bleeding, you can stop that bleeding. You got everything else in your pack that you can actually sit there for the next day or so. If someone's got to hike out and bring help in, or at least hours, if you can stop the bleeding, you're going to be all right. Um, so other than that, those are what are in the smaller area in the kit of my pack. The bigger areas... So on this one, this basic one, or my basic pack setup, I'm gonna have two Mountain House dehydrated meals. And these are just the compressed ones and had all the air sucked out of them just to save space. But these are the, the rice and chicken. And I think my brother-in-laws and I were gonna start doing some other videos on the, the food and trying some of it out. I only like two or three of them, that's all I've had so far, but from what I've read, they're, they're, all their flavors are great. I just really only like these so far, and I'm trying to expand my horizons, I would say. Um, my cook set up, I got some salt and pepper up front. Um, I run a jet boil. It's a whole system, everything's in here. There's a can of fuel in here, and then in the bottom, I carry an extra can in there as well. Um, I carry a small tool kit and then a medic kit. Um, it, there's nothing crazy in the tool kit. I might have like a few extra rounds of like 44 mag if I'm going to be in bear country. A compass, a multi-tool system. And extra CR-123 batteries. And I got little areas of extra storage for whatever reason. Or if I'm sitting there going, oh, I might need this or that. I'd rather have the extra room that I can throw in my bag then not have it and need it. But here's my medic pouch, um, small personal thing. I got two tourniquets, some steri strips, scissors, uh, lip balm. I might have some quick clot in here um, and then band, standard band-aids and a pair, a really good pair of tweezers because tweezers you can do just about or whenever you need them. If you got them, that's great. If you don't, you're fucked. Uh, there's nothing like walking all day with a thorn or a splinter in your side, whether it's black bush or mosquito or something like that, and wishing you could get it out and not, and you, you can't get it with your, your multi-tool. So anyway, um, the day before, or the, before we leave to go on the hunt, we're in the Northern Texas Panhandle, so we got everything we need up here. Um, but I'll go get some Imodium AD, some pain meds, and maybe a little bit of something for um, swelling. Just because, you know, if you're walking 6 to 10 miles a day flat, but if you're only walking 4 up and down these steep elevations and inclines, your knees and your hip, your, your, everything's going to hurt. So, anyway, that's my pack set up. Um, like I said, I'll carry one water bottle or two of these if I don't use my hydration pack and if I do I put a smaller water bottle in here and uh, then fill up half my hydration my, my bladder system on the camelback but that's what I intend to use this year for the 2018 elk season so um, shit 2019 holy smokes yeah for the 2019 god that's just terrible I don't know why I said that but anyway let me know your comments, suggestions. I'm sure, you know, y'all are going to have your own thoughts and how y'all do things different. Let us know how you do it, and we'll just feed off of each other and get better ideas and get better and lighter. So talk to y'all soon. Bye.